Welcome back guys to a new video. Now today is a pretty big video. Today I'm going to be talking about the next arc update coming for the console and the release date which is TLC2. And also letting you guys know that this is going to be the last big content update we're going to be getting to Ark Survival Evolved for a very long time. Now this could be forever, I don't really know, this is what some of the rumours are that, that we might never see in the, in a content update again. But then obviously we have the third DLC coming which is going to be massive, but we don't even know if that's going to add anything new like Aberration did because currently we just know it's Ark Extinction which is going to be on Earth. So not really too sure what's going to be going on, but all I can let, let you guys know is this this is going to be the last content update that's going to be being released which is TLC2 for the console and then there's going to be fo they're going to be focusing on just literally huge bug fixes but I'm going to be getting on with all the information you guys need later on in the video. Now if you do enjoy make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. While recording this we are literally like I think 10 subscribers away from 90,000 which is unreal so thank you guys for that. Trying to grind so much for that big 100k I'm really looking forward to that it's going to be a dream come true. Um, on my channel it said that I've um, been trying to reach 100,000 subscribers I think ever since I was on I put that when I was on 100 subscribers it's crazy to think we are literally going to be 10,000 away but anyway and Enough of that, let's get in with the video. So, um, Wildcard put up a new community crunch, which is 126, with a console update, server maintenance, and lots more stuff. Many of you guys know what a, uh, you know, what's going on with uh, community crunches, just where we get news and, you know, different creations and stuff. And this is going to be giving us news on the console transfers and TLC Phase 2. So, we're targeting a console release for this update in mid-April, week of uh, the 16th of April, which if you didn't know guys, a bit of information if you love the channel, my birthday is actually the 16th of April, so the update probably won't be dropping on that day, they say the week of the 16th of April, so usually that means it won't be that, you know, that actual day, it'd be great if it was, but I don't think it's going to be, so probably looking at the 18th, 19th, something around that, and they'll keep us posted about more release dates once we get closer to the date, um, and with this update, we'll also be enabling item transfers and the, va um, the vanilla version of Aberrant Creatures to be moved to Aberration servers. This means you'll be able to take over your regular Spino to an Aberration server. Also preventing people from building within the Ragnarok Puzzle Cave. So if you store any structures or creatures down there, make use of this time to reloc uh, relocate them ASAP once this update goes live on the console. That will no longer be possible. So they're going to be making um, people... So they're basically going to be stopping people from building within the Ragnarok Puzzle Cave. So make sure if you've got anything there, you will need to get that moved because they are going to be stopping that within the next update. It's, import it's an important note that the turret update will not go live on the console with this update, but instead a future one. Not really too sure what is going on with this, uh, you know, with what's going, you know, with the turret update. That was meant to happen like months ago um, and then they delayed it it's now obviously on the pc but they, they may take even longer with it on the console i don't really know what wildcard are doing with this i mean i i know they it's up there making this their game and they know what they're doing right so i'm not going to say anything about it but they have been talking about it for a while and saying that when the turret update goes live it should fix so many problems and make the game run smoother but you would have thought if this was a massive thing that would happen then that would have been done by now i really don't know but apparently it's going to be going live in a future update. Now, before I start talking about the upcoming maintenance for the PC servers, I wanted to talk a little bit about as you know what this video is called, which is this could potentially be well, it is. I'm not potentially it is the last content update for you know could be forever. I don't really know. So as you guys may have seen on an old video of mine, after TLC two is released, we'll be also turning our focus more directly onto bug fixes and quality of life improvements in the weeks ahead. There are some issues that have been brought to attention by the team um, by an art artist movement created to highlight the issues that affect players negatively the most. Um, basically, they're saying that they're going to be all these different issues and stuff are being documented for future analysis. And once after TLC is released, we'll be beginning investigating and addressing these issues as one of our main focuses. And I actually did see a tweet from Jat saying that th that is like their team's main goal at the moment is just to fix the game. That is what is going to be going on with them 
basically now for the rest of the time moving forward with the game. Um, there's also some good news for ARC players on console if you have a Nitrado server. Um, they, they've tracked down an issue that led to structures not being able to be placed on Primitive Plus on PS4, so restart your server. And they've actually added a um, setting from the TLC1 to our console web interfaces, which is a very high demanded one, which is to be able to disable, um, you know, weather, basically. So no fog if you don't want it. And I know that's a huge thing because fog is so annoying on Ark Survival Evolved. So this is one of the most highly demanded one. You will now be able to sort that out. But I wanted to then go straight back to what I was talking about again about the content. And it's pretty crazy. It's been a long run on Ark Survival Evolved, especially as I've been doing this channel two years now. Um, constantly seeing so much stuff added, new, new dinos, new items and stuff. And there wasn't a lot added when the full game was released because um, they, you know, they were mainly just working on getting Aberration released. And then Aberration came out and we saw new dinos, we saw some new items and stuff. But they have now said that they're going to be turning their main focus, as you guys saw there, literally to bug fixes and quality life improvements. Now, don't get me wrong. I feel like this is great for the game. It needs to happen. Um, you know, I I feel like, um, you know, the game has still has a lot of problems. Everyone still says, like, please just fix your game. Fix this, fix that. And that is what they're going to be aiming to do now. But then, you know, what is going to be new about when, you know, Come, what's going to excite people to keep wanting to play the game like I know bug fixes and like making the game playable will be exciting but I feel like wild kind of already lost such a massive you know you know such a huge bit of excitement with the game already now that they there's they need to release something else that really makes people want to carry on playing there is like they're currently on an a ledge and an, or an edge whatever you want to say at the moment of being even more successful and then completely going downhill and i really hope they make the right decisions within what they're doing here now i i completely agree adding more content it just makes the game lag even more but maybe Get these get these uh, bug fixes sorted, but also you need to let the community know that your or you know your fan base that there still is stuff going to be released. We know that S Plus is meant to be coming on its way, but we've had no news on that for for months. You know, like maybe has it been half a year now since we got news on that? I don't even know. Um, we know there's a third DLC coming out, but it's on Earth and it's called Extinction, and we don't even you know there might not be anything new about it. I can't say anything on that yet because you know. Um, there could be so much new stuff and I could just be saying this and I'm wrong but everyone now has sort of come to terms that this is going to be the last big content update coming to the game for a very long time now so don't know what to expect to you know in the future of this game I really hope they do make the right decisions I love Ark it's been one of my favorite games and that's you know my channel I say all the time would not be where it is now if it wasn't for that game um and I still play it I still play it quite a lot and I enjoy it still but are they going to make the right moves and keep it as popular as it already is? I definitely feel like it's they're still popular, but was make releasing Ark Survival Evolved on the uh, you know on the mobile the best idea right now? In my opinion, no. But if that's what they want to do, I suppose it's their game, so they can move that in that direction. Um, I mean, Ark on mobile would have been great, but maybe in the few months' time, once they've got the things out that the community actually want, people want S+, Plus, and they've said to us, you know, that's going to be the next mod, and we're still all waiting for it, you know, and that's going to make people to, uh, complain. Like, Wildcard, the reason why they get, they get so much hate is they say, right, we're going to release this, or this is going to be the next thing, and then there's absolutely no news on what's happening with, um, you know, with, with whatever that they said was going to be released. And then they release something else that people don't want, but maybe they would want if you said that was going to be coming out, and then you actually release it, um, what, you know, when you say it's going to be coming out type of thing. I hope that made sense to you guys, and I know a lot of people talk about this as well. Um, but this is just what I see in my eyes, and Wildcard just make a few little mistakes sometimes with what they do um, and can definitely harm their game and is already harming and has already harmed what a great game it is with you know a instant you know an unlimited amount of potential in my eyes because there could just be so much created from this but anyway that was my sort of talk about this you know uh, there's you know the content update it's going to be the last one for a long time Probably the third DLC. Could that be the end of the month, the end of the year? I don't know. So what? What is going to be the next move, guys? I really couldn't even tell you because I don't have the news myself. 
Now, as you can see, if you're on the PC, there's some upcoming maintenance for your servers. So the maintenance will take place on Wednesday the 11th at 2 p.m. Eastern. The maintenance will take approximately two hours to complete. During this time, the servers will be shut down and saved and the save data transferred. Once the transfer is complete, the servers will be brought back online. These servers will, will no longer appear in your favorites due to an IP address change. Therefore, you need to search for the server again and refavorite your server. And if, the, if you, you know, if you're someone that was worrying that you're on the PC and this could be yours, then as you can see on the screen right now, if you want to pause it, you can do just so you can basically, just so you know and you're up to date at, um, if you want to, you know, make, note down your server again if you don't want to lose it because it won't be in your favorites anymore or just so you know that you won't be able to play on it at this time when they do go down. So that really is the last big bit of news to let you guys know of what's going on at the moment. Just a little recap. Obviously, the TLC big console update is going to be coming out the week of the 16th of April. Um, but again, what are, what are ARC going to be doing from now? I know we know there's going to be huge quality of life and bug improvements and everything. But what else? There has to be something big that keeps their players wanting to play. You know, you see so many other games talking about it where they, you know, they let their, I don't know, as customers or community know what's going to be happening to keep them going. Ark need to write up a roadmap and then post it and then people know. That's what they have to do. They really do have to do something like that because... Sea of Thieves is a game I've been uploading on my channel. They are going to get a roadmap sorted up in the next few days and upload it, which so then people know what's going to be coming out. Destiny did the same thing, so why can't Ark do it? It would be perfect. And then there's no complaining. People know what's going to be getting released. But my main th th like sort of theory to why they don't do this is I feel like they don't know if they can ever hit the targets of release dates. So they would put up a, a roadmap of what they're going to be releasing, and they just wouldn't hit the dates, and then they would what you know it would mess up and go all over the place and that's sometimes the kind of thing that i get from wildcard sometimes is they're a little bit all over the place because they work on so much stuff at once and then they don't know what they're going to be releasing first and it's kind of like a you know a jumbled up piece of pieces of paper that just get lost in the storm i don't even know but still anyway i didn't rant too much there i just wanted to let you guys know with what's going on a little bit sad but still a TLC 2 update to look forward to. So lots of videos coming to you guys with that soon. There's a few, well, quite a few huge, um, like, uh, like sort of bug fixes as well coming with that. So I'll be covering the patch notes as soon as the update does go live. But apart from that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you guys later.